If you are closely following the world of supercars, you must be aware that automakers are pushing out new, more expensive, more powerful and quicker models faster than we can count. The 2020 lineup has already been presented as well, and it includes some beyond remarkable newcomers that carry on the task of redefining the supercar capabilities. Get ready to be impressed by mind-blowing designs, lightning speeds and staggering prices, of course. Before we get to the episode though, subscribe to Automotive Territory and ring the bell not to miss any of the new releases. Enjoy the ride! Radical Rapture In 2017, the British Radical Sports Cars celebrated its 20th birthday, selling 2,000 cars built by the brand. This year, it is bringing to the market its latest project, the track-focused sports car called the Rapture. The model sits on the lightweight chassis with the company's nickling suspension and the FIA-compliant safety cell and crash structure. Its bodywork is performed using composite materials, so the car weighs less than 1,700 pounds. The power comes from the Ford-sourced 2.3-liter EcoBoost engine that has been reworked by Radical, receiving a turbocharger and a new air intake system. The four-cylinder is paired with a paddle-shift six-speed gearbox and its maximum output is rated at 350 horses. The cockpit of the car has two molded race seats and a minimalistic dashboard with an LCD data locker. And didn't we mention it, the new Radical is legal to drive on the road. Lotus Avaya Lotus weren't kidding when they hyped up their upcoming supercar as totally mind-blowing. This is the first model to be introduced after the British automaker became a part of the Chinese conglomerate Geely, and it appears that the influx of money from this corporation is going to make wonders. As per the creators, the Avaya is the world's lightest hypercar, with 3,696 pounds on the scales, courtesy of the ultra-lightweight carbon fiber monocoque. The target power output of the production car is rated at 2,000 horsepower, generated by four electric motors which are in turn just by a mid-mounted battery pack. The technical parameters are as follows. All-electric driving range of 250 miles, top speed over 200 mph and 0-60 to acceleration under 3 seconds. The production will be limited to 130 units and the Brits are aiming at the price between 1.8 and 2.5 million dollars. Chevrolet Corvette Stingray C8 the rumors about the first mid-engine VAT surfaced all the way back in 2016, and since then, the car has become one of the most widely discussed newcomers. It was speculated that the new C8 would adopt a name Sora to commemorate Mr. Arcus Dantov, the original father of the Corvette, but eventually, the Stingray moniker was approved to live on. The 2020 mid-engine rocket is powered by an LT1-derived 6.2-liter V8 that produces 490 or 495 horsepower with the optional C51 performance package. Unfortunately for the admirers of the manual, the power is channeled to the rear wheels exclusively via an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic. Chevy is determined to price the Stingray starting from $60,000, which is a rather sweet deal for a car that had 60 under 3 seconds. Ford GT Mark II Back in 1964, Ford collaborated with Carroll Shelby to create a race car capable of winning 24 hours of Le Mans, which it consequently did. 55 years of racing experience later, the American company worked with Multimatic to reborn the legend in the form of the most powerful Ford GT ever, the all-new MK2. Its updated 3.5-liter twin-turbo EcoBoost V6 is not limited by any racing sanctioning bodies allowing the SuperCoupe to generate 700 plus horsepower. According to the manufacturer, the newcomer is 300 pounds lighter than the street legal version and it generates 400% more downforce. The beast rides on the forged 19-inch wheels wearing Michelin Pilot Sport GT tires and it is claimed to pull over 2 Gs of lateral acceleration. 45 units of the Mark II will be produced and sold with a staggering price tag of $1.2 million. McLaren GT Such notions as comfortable and supercar are rarely put together, since superior aerodynamics inevitably lead to cramped-up interiors and lack of practicality. The upcoming McLaren GT, however, is undoubtedly a new world in the Gran Turismo world, offering a new combination of lightweight, a new powerful engine, vast interior space and comfort comparable to a private jet. 
the British automaker has developed a 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 that outputs 620 horses and 465 pound-feet of torque channel 37-speed dual clutch, resulting in 3.2 seconds 0 to 60 and 203 miles per hour top speed. Due to the mid-engine setup, this Grand Tour has two luggage compartments at the front and at the rear, which combined equal to 20 cubic feet or 570 liters. The interior package includes electrically adjustable and heated seats, ambient lighting, latest generation infotainment, electrochromic glass roof, and a 12-speaker Bowers & Wilkins premium audio system. SSC Tuatara The development of the supercar took nearly a decade, but finally the very first units have been announced to be delivered to the owners during the third quarter of 2019. The Tuatara was named after the reptile, found only in New Zealand, which has the fastest molecular evolution, hinting at the technological supremacy of the car. The twin turbocharged 5.9 liter V8 mid mounted engine delivers the mind blowing 1,750 horsepower when feeding on E85 and 1,350 horses when fueled by the 91 octane. It is controlled by robotized SEMA 7-speed manual transmission integrated with a state-of-the-art Automac AMT system that operates the engagement and selection of movement in the gearbox. The hypercar weighs 2,750 pounds thanks to the all-carbon fiber monocoque chassis. It has the drag coefficient of just 0.279 and was designed with the sole purpose of hitting the 300 miles per hour top speed. We are trying to cover all of the upcoming models within various segments of the automotive industry. Make sure to review the suggested episodes on the screen once you have finished this video. Let's keep rolling! Ferrari SF90 Stradale The announcement of the supercar is an unprecedented event for the automotive community, since it is the very first production-ready plug-in hybrid supercoupe from the seasoned car maker, marking a tectonic shift for the industry. The SF90 Stradale Sport train consists of a 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 from the popular F154 engine family and three electric motors. One is located between the engine and gearbox, while the other two work on the front axle, so besides being the first PHEV Ferrari, it is also the first two-seat supercar from this Italian brand to possess an all-wheel drive capability. The combined output of the setup reaches 1000 horsepower and ensures 2.4 seconds 0 to 60 acceleration and 211 miles per hour maximum velocity. The all electric range of the Stradale is expectedly low, only 15 miles, though this should be still enough to silently drive in and out of the neighborhood before exploding on the highway. Audi R8 LMS GT2 Built on the same platform as the road legal R8 Spider, the LMS GT2 supercar was designed following the technical regulations of the new GT2 class, which will debut in racing under the trademark of Stefan Rotel organization in 2020. The track version of the R8 received a wild and aggressive body, underlined by a massive fender and roof-mounted air scoop. Audi engineers boosted the series 5.2-liter naturally aspirated V10 engine to 640 horsepower. This makes the new LMS GT2 the most powerful car in the 11 years history of Audi customer racing program. The main efforts of the developers were aimed at reducing weight, and the widespread use of carbon fiber allowed to limit it to 2,976 pounds. As a result, this array has an incredible weight-to-weight -weight ratio of 4.62 pounds per horsepower. Koenigsegg Jasko the Swedish automaker Koenigsegg is already known for building the world's fastest automobiles, but the arrival of the limited production Koenigsegg Jasko is destined to up their game. The model's standard output is 1,280 horses, but when fueled with E85, the 5.0 liter twin turbo V8 yields 1,600 horsepower and 1,106 pound feet of torque. It allows this performance monster to produce more power with greater efficiency while achieving higher 8500 RPM limit. The final performance touch is the new light speed transmission, which has 9 speeds and 7 clutches. Interestingly, a one off version of the Yesco, called Cherry Road Edition 10, was recently ordered by a luxury online dealership, adding carbon fiber body panels, new wheels, and exclusive red color to the already gorgeous supercar. Ultima RS 
Altima Sports is an exclusive supercar manufacturer from Britain that specializes in development of track toys with the design inspired by the Group C Le Mans race cars. The Altima RS is the company's all-new flagship that boasts of improved aerodynamics, more downforce and even less weight due to the use of the extra carbon fiber parts. The entire automobile is customizable, but the engine's lineup draws the major interest. The buyers of the Altima can choose between Chevrolet's V8 LS and LT engines. The higher spec LTs make from 480 to 800 horses. Plus, the supercharged LT5 can be further tuned to make staggering ring 1200 horsepower, placing the RS into the hypercar territory. The racer will get to 60 from 3.0 to 2.3 seconds, and the speedometer is limited by 180 through 250 miles per hour marks, respectively. De Tommaso P72 GT De Tommaso is an Italian car maker that has produced prototypes and racing cars since 1959. After a long hiatus, it was acquired by the Ideal Team Ventures in 2014, the same company that currently owns Apollo Automobili. The retro supercar P72 GT is the company's first limited edition creation after the change of ownership and it commemorates the company's 60th anniversary. The newcomer is built on the same all-carbon chassis as Apollo Intensa Emozione, and it is likely to be powered by a bespoke 6.3-liter naturally aspirated V12 and a V8 option, controlled by sequential manual transmission. Just 72 units of the De Tommaso P72 GT will be produced, and they will be priced at 750,000 euros. If we miss some of the upcoming supercars in this video, let us know in the comments below. Also, consider checking out other releases on our channel, the models you think we have missed could have been already featured in the previous episodes of Automotive Territory. Like, subscribe and ring the bell to support our channel. And as always, may the torque be with you!